Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm Steve Staples, I'm the chairperson of PeaceQuest, and I'm delighted to have an old friend and a new friend uh, join us today. Cesar Hamel is the executive director of Project Plowshares, one of the premier peace research and advocacy organizations in Canada. And I'm also joined by Kelsey Gallagher, who's a brand new researcher uh, working at Project Plowshares. And thanks for making the time to join us, you guys. Of course. Thanks for having us, Steve. Great to be here. I, I just want to say, Turkey is very mad at you right now. The whole, like the, the Turkish government, they are very, very upset with you guys. Um, it's in the news. <laughs> Canada has cut off arms exports to Turkey. They are calling it foul. They're saying it's unfair. It's a double standard. Why, you know, we're NATO allies. A little over a year ago, we started uh, to get really interested in arms exports uh, to Turkey from Canada. Uh, we noticed uh, a few years back, they started trending up. Um, and when we started to pick at, at the data a bit more, it became increasingly clear that uh, it appears the majority of, of these military goods are produced by a company called L3 Harris West Camp in Burlington. Uh, they make uh, what are called EOIR sensors, but essentially they're cameras. Uh, these cameras are usually fixed to the, to the underbelly of drones, aircraft, and that sort of thing. And they allow for um, uh, users to see the ground and to direct smart munitions and that sort of thing. Totally coincidentally, uh, a few days after we released it, um, the situation in Nagorno-Karabakh really heated up again. Um, and in the, in the few days following, it became clear that not only were these sensors being diverted to uh, factions within Libya on Turkish drones, it appeared very clearly uh, that they were also being diverted to um, the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh. Um, and once again, it, it appears that they're being supplied to Azerbaijan via Turkey, which is also an instance of diversion, also a breach of the arms trade treaty. Governments, and, and it, 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 it's now clear to their own detriment, uh, some governments and some ministries of defense are very keen to release the video feed of drone strikes. Um, and we could say we know what Westcam sensors look like because Westcam releases these images themselves for uh, like promotional material, right? Uh, they release uh, images from the OPP using them. Uh, for instance, the Ontario Provincial Police. We can then take those images and put them side by side to one released by the Turkish Ministry of Defense, or now one released by the Azeri Ministry of Defense, and they match up pretty closely. So I'm walking through the grocery store the other day, and I'm going by the newspaper rack, and I see on the Globe Mail, the top story, the top of the fold, prime space, Canada selling arms, the Canadian arms to Turkey ending up in Azerbaijan conflict. And that's because of the research that you did, the report that you produced that gets to the Globe and Mail and front page news. And what does the, what does the government respond with? There seemed to be, you know, we caught wind that, that uh, this was kind of trickling upward to higher and higher levels of government. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau ended up actually responding to a comment uh, on it by the end of the week. And then I think it was this past Tuesday, um, we all got the, the same uh, uh, notice from Global Affairs, like the, the open uh, yeah, um, kind of notice saying that uh, we're suspending arms exports. But it begs the question of, of what we believe, which is really what uh, at Project Plowshares, we believe needs to happen is have a serious, honest national conversation about Canada and the arms trade, you know, and, and Canada, Canada's role in, in, in the arms trade, about this, this uh, cause and effect relationship between Burlington, you know, these neighbors of ours, Burlington and, 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 and London, and, and the same province of Saudi Arabia and Azerbaijani drones and all these things, that there is that relationship, may, it may not be so apparent and, and we may have the perhaps not so pleasant job of, of bringing it to the fore and telling people, listen, you know, that, that maybe that SUV you're enjoying is, 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 uh, is, is, is in part linked to human rights violations halfway around the world. 